Okay guys, small video. Um, how to address valve under the bucket uh, type. Really is the same uh, as the others. Uh, I'm gonna do it the easy way. Engine off uh, as for the RZ, uh, FZ, uh, it's a rebuild, so I gotta do it when it's easy to do. So you just remove the valve cover. It's all bit stage, so uh, it's gonna be uh, fast. Here you have a um, screw, a bolt with a nut, as per you can turn the engine to TDC. First cylinder. So uh, what you do? It's uh, take like uh, the filler gauge and measure out the clearance. I know that one is a 13 because I already measure everything out. Um, it's a kind of a go no go. So I think the 15. Don't want to pass. Uh, I take the 14s, so it's a 10 and a 4. You don't pass. Uh, you don't shove it in. You know, you, you adequate pressure, but if you don't feel it's going in, uh, you don't uh, force it in. So that one's a 13, as you can see. I can feel it just a little dragging. Um, the other one, it's already knows a 12, and the other, that one's a, gonna be 14. So that one is it's loose. So you're doing the intake side, the exhaust side. Uh, the exhaust side, like here, going to be like a 20, uh, 19 maybe, uh, 20, yeah. it's going to be a tight 20. Sometimes when the filler gauge is getting that size of the uh, thickness of the filler gauge, what I like to do is take two smaller ones and really fill the the drag between the two so I'm, it's a tight 20 it's going to be more of a loose 19 so, yeah. so measure up you make sure that your fellow gauge is clean too if they have like a machinist uh, oil or some protecting oil, clean out first. Make sure they have clean filler gauge. You refer to your shop manual. You have a firing order. So the next one is like 180 turn. Next cylinder to check is going to be number two to check. After it's going to be like four and three. That's with 180 increment. Uh, the way you see that is that by that port, it's a low line with a T, and the other side, it's a, like a machinist mark on it. Uh, it's like kind of a pointed uh, in the drive shaft, uh, but not drive shaft, uh, crank, so uh, you have to check that. So uh, my measures say that some are tight, some are barely uh, going to be too over spec, so I have to remove everything and readjust, and that's going to be uh, the other part. Okay, 
after you remove the, the cams, make sure you tie down the chain and everything, you're going to lift the bucket and underneath the bucket or still on the valve, you're going to have a little shim. And that shim have a number of them. Okay? Take that number, just for replace it for uh, safekeeping. And you write down the number. And that will tell you what the gap, which number, which shim you're going to need at the end. Like uh, that exhaust one underneath. I have a 20 clearance. I would like to have 25. Have a 182 on it. So the closest I can have, or it's a 175. Technically speaking, if I want the closest to uh, 25. I would take uh, 177, but 175 I'm going to do, so what I'm going to do, take the bucket, remove it, take the shim, confirm that's 182, take that, it's a 175, place it on the bucket, I like to put a little bit of oil in it there. Wait a sec. Just a drop. Some uh, use assembly glue, but just a drop of oil. That's it. You have to be very straight with those. And there we go. So that's how it is, really. Hardest part to get shim, uh, to get to the shim under the bucket. Uh, like uh, another video I did, the shims on top of the bucket, and you have the other system where it is like a screw and a counter screw that you adjusted. Uh, well, the principles are pretty much the same. It's just to get to uh, the valve, the, the shims can get uh, a little bit pain in the ass, but that system is for a high rev uh, engine, so and that's it. That's how you adjust valve. So it's measurement, minus uh, measurement, shim, you want to add or subtract the all depend of uh, your clearance and you find out uh, which trim is it so it's the way to do it so after that it's reassemble time everything that's it have a nice day bye